that you want to show him that he is not what is what he is not upon what is right so he will recant and come back and return to alhamdulillah that which is what is a sawab what is correct he say man i knew mustafa man we grew up together i love the brother we used to you know we used to kick it we used to break bread me and him but he today the brother is you know he he don't pay me no mind no more what what could be the problem oh man i know i think because i'm hanging out with this tablighi the brother perhaps he he he's, he doesn't like this maybe he want to show me that this is not proper because somebody that once was tight with you alhamdulillah you know he is not paying your mind you want to ask hey what have i done to abu ibrahim oh akhi maybe you, you should stop going to the sufis on friday doing the zikr with them maybe the brother he is he, he taking a stand against you because of that and when you come akhi barakallahu feekum uh, is that a problem yes it is an issue akhi you should not be partaking in those things akhi alhamdulillah i i, I recant from it i stop it what you think the abu ibrahim will do he give you a big hug invite you alhamdulillah for a cup of tea or bring you some 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 the of the the muhammad dukra stuff naam so therefore the shaykh hafizahullah ta'ala he say that indeed the mushrikun the mushrikun they indeed sent yursaluna ila an-nabi alayhi salatu wassalam Our rusul they used to send messengers to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and the prophet alayhi salatu wasallam used to barakallahu fikum yani entertain them he used to yani entertain them he used to let's say when they come they will he will welcome them he will sit them down and see what they have to say wa yudkhiluna alayhi wa huwa fi al-masjid and they even will come to the masjid right they will come to the masjid right like the banu najran when they were sent right those christian when they was they were they sent a delegation to to the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam when he was in medina and the prophet was in the masjid so that, that delegation barakallahu fikum came in the masjid and the prophet alayhi salatu wasallam he entertained them and sat them down in the masjid so this is the proof that what the it's permissible for the kuffar to enter the masjid but with what idha kana fihi maslaha if there is a need for that if there is a benefit for that for them to enter the masjid right they can enter the masjid alhamdulillah if they have a question they can enter the masjid to ask things or they can enter the masjid for i mean if they need guidance meaning they want to learn about islam or they in, they can enter the masjid if they need to fix something in the masjid for instance right but we can allow let's say the nation of no islam to come to the masjid and sit in our ranks in the salah we cannot allow the nation of islam to enter our masajid and to pray with us in our ranks we cannot tolerate that yes if they want to sit on the back of the masjid and observe or listen alhamdulillah ma fi mania but amma to come in the masjid and sit down and people know that he is a nation of islam akhi this is not permissible but if you don't know do you ask him mustafa Yeah if you don't know he is a nation of islam do you ask him Ah barakallah you don't you don't right you don't just because a brother come with a bow tie at the mesh you tell me akhi are you a nation of islam la no just because a brother come alhamdulillah to the mesh with a bow tie are you going to ask him are you a nation of islam la akhi doesn't matter doesn't matter Do- doesn't matter doesn't matter unless you see a distinctive sign 
that he is from the nation of Islam. And even in that situation, you ain't going to tell him, Akhi, get out the masjid. No, I mean, not Akhi. But rather, you got to what? You got to investigate. You got to ask him. You got to ask him. He come with a bow tie, right? With a clean shave and, yeah, clean shave. Let's say he's a bus driver and the job, and the job tell him, you got to wear a bow tie. You can't have no facial hair. You can't have no hair on your head. Or he bald. He's bald-headed, right? Like not Muhammad Fuller, right? He's bald-headed. You're gonna he come to the masjid for Jum'ah or whatnot with his bald tie. You gonna ask him? Like, no, Alhamdulillah. You 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 go by, you know, which that Alhamdulillah is the asal that he is not to be, you know, taken but as a Muslim, right? So now the Messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He say, "Fayatafawadu." So they will indulge in a discussion with the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. They will enter the masjid and they will indulge in discussion with the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He say, Fahadhi Umur, he say these matters laysat min al mawalat, it is not from any type of doesn't have no connotation of love. It doesn't have no type of affection. وَإِنَّمَا هِيَ But it is مِنَ الْمَصَالِحِ الْمُبَاحَةِ It is only for those yani, masalih having mutual benefit that is permissible. The mutual benefit that is permissible. Between بَيْنَ الْمُسْلِمِينَ وَالْكُفَّارِ Between the Muslims and the disbelievers. So therefore, Shuf, in conclusion of this tonight, فَيَجِبُ أَن نُفَرِّقَ بَيْنَ هَذَا وَهَذَا It is incumbent upon us that we make the difference between this and the other. It is incumbent upon us to make the difference between this and that. Meaning, the matters of the deen and the matters of the, of the dunya. The matters of the deen and the matters of the dunya. Naam. Inshallah ta'ala we will read that which is the conclusion of this class next week. Which is the Shaykh Hafizahullah. He is actually mentioning about uh, people that are, yani, uh, say, that are mixing these two things. Uh, mixing these two things. Uh, they don't have this furqan between these two things. But rather they are mixing these two things. The matters of the dunya and the matters of the deen. Right? The matters of the dunya and the matters of the deed. These matters of the dunya which is from the mu'amalat tijariya or from the matters of yani, paying back or being returning the kindness. Those are the matters of the dunya. Doesn't have, as long as it doesn't touch nothing from the deed, then it is permissible. He said, but you find some individual, they what? They, they mix them. And this is what we were just mentioning earlier about those who say, well, we should not be buying this product because of it is helping the Yahud. Who say they want to help the Yahud? And while you saying don't buy a dollar fifty cup of coffee, you buying a thirteen thousand dollar car on Reba on the top of that. Now, which is worst? This individual buying a, a dollar fifty, a buck fifty of a cup of coffee, a dollar fifty, but you're driving a thirteen thousand dollars car on Reba, and you're talking about who's helping who? And this concludes our sitting tonight. We ask Allah Tabaraka wa Taala. To grant us his tawfiq. If there was any mistake that I have made, and I'm sure that they are, rectify me. May Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala rectify you in all your affairs. Ameen. If a disbeliever is kind to you, return the favor. At least, barakallah. If you can't be nice to them, don't harm them. Abdullah.
Very good. If a person have parents that are disbelievers, you got to be kind to them. And you don't love them the love of worship. Barakallah fiq. إلى والده لقول الله لكن لكن لا يحبه بقلبه نعم it is it is permissible for it is واجب actually he say for the parent for the for the for the for the children of kuffar parents to be kind to them to be kind to them not because they love them but because of what returning their favor not the love of worship out of ahsan tabarakallah fik mustafa Naam, it is permissible to call on Allah because by way of the love that you have for the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Because love in the Prophet, is it a? It's a ibadah. It's a ibadah. Love in the Prophet is a ibadah. Love in the Prophet is a ibadah. Love in your brother in, for the sake of Allah is a? Is a ibadah. Loving your father for the sake of Allah is a ibadah. Loving your mother for the sake of Allah is a ibadah. Right? So one can call on Allah by way of those things. Being kind to one's parent is a ibadah. You can call on Allah, oh Allah, if I, had, if I gave my mother this cup of tea today solely for your sake, remove this harm from away from me. Oh Allah, if I talk to my mother and I put a smile on her face today, Oh Allah, aid me in this project. Oh Allah, if I help my, if I give two dollars to my mother, right, today, Oh Allah, if this was done sincerely for your sake, for your face, Oh Allah, grant me such and such. Alhamdulillah, it's a, it's a, it's one to be dutiful to their parents, it is a matter of it's a worship, alhamdulillah. To put joy in the hearts of our parents, right? It's a it's a it's a ibadah. To put a smile on their face, it's a it's a ibadah. And likewise, to make sure that no one will violate the honor of your parents is also a ibadah. You understand what that means? To make sure that nobody violates the honor of your parents is the worship. What does it mean? Very good. Say it again. To not make to not embarrass them. Or to give people something to say about how they are of bad parents because of you. Not because of them. Because what you do sometimes, you don't do it in front of them. But you're going to be monkeying around when they're not here. So when other people, they see you, they say, what type of parents are these? But it might not be their fault. It's not, it might not be their fault. Right? And more so if your parents are driving you to the masjid. Bringing you to the masjid. Making sure that you come into the masjid. When you come to the masjid and you being a clown, it's just, Right? I say, oh man, what a what a ill-mannered kid is this? What a bad-mannered kid is this? Now, when that is said, automatically you're gonna be thinking about what? The parents is not doing with their job. So for you to behave well, so nobody will have bad thoughts about your parents, that is a worship, alhamdulillah. You're doing it for Allah. You already say something. A book. 
Naam, the love is...